in Marekka, and or before I got sick, I loved to hunt and fish. I'd fish about every weekend during the summer, and during the fall, I'd go hunting about every weekend. So Jordan's a young man that we've known here at Texas Children's Heart Center for quite some time now. He was born with a very rare defect in which his heart, instead of facing to the left, like everyone's heart, his faces to the right. Also, the two main arteries that leave his heart uh, are switched. And that is called corrected transposition and dextrocardia. And we know that many of these patients over time will eventually develop heart failure. And unfortunately, he's been developing heart failure over these last few years. So once you put the art, total artificial heart in, it's there doing the function of the right and the left side of the heart. And remember, in him, it was a little bit different. We had to put it in a different way because remember, his heart was in backwards. And not only was it in backwards, but then the main arteries were switched around. So usually the device, the right side sits like this and the left side sits like this, they cross. But in him, they actually go like this because of how his heart was. But once we have that in, then these connect uh, through tubes that actually go through his skin and out to a machine. And this machine pumps air into the device and pumps it into one side of this chamber. And the chamber is split into two. One is the air side and one is the blood side. So as the air is pushed in, the diaphragm pushes the blood out and you have a heartbeat. Right now, uh, the device is driven by a very big machine that's literally 400 pounds. Uh, but probably in the next week to week and a half, after he gets to the floor for a few days, we're going to be switching him to another device, a much smaller device called the Freedom Driver. And the reason they call it the Freedom Driver is that the patient can wear it on a backpack and can walk around much easier and can leave the hospital. But as long as his strength continues to improve, we'll switch him to the Freedom Driver and then hopefully get him home while he waits for his heart transplant. just more rebuilding, rebuilding my strength and get you ready for the Freedom Driver. Three components, the power, the core power adapter, the two primary batteries, and then the driver itself. When I get home, I hope to be able to go fishing at just the ponds in my neighborhood hang out with my friends again, just relax, sit in my chair, my favorite chair at home. I'm going to enroll in college classes while I'm waiting at home for my transplant. I feel like uh, Big Blue kept me alive and helped me be as strong as I am today and ready to go home. Starting the new year with a new heart, we've been following the story of Houston area teenager Jordan Moreca since last summer. He's one of the first teens in the country to survive with an artificial heart. But in our health check tonight, medical reporter Christy Myers shows us how he's beginning his new life now with a new human heart. 18-year-old Jordan Moreca hops in his pickup, chatting about what he wants to major in. Subsea, engineering, marine, something to do with the ocean. But this was Jordan six months ago, connected to an artificial heart run by a 400-pound pump. You hear it, and you know you're still pumping. Jordan was Texas Children's first artificial heart patient. He went home with a backpack battery and had to sit near electrical outlets to keep it charged. But those days are behind him. In October, he got a heart transplant, beginning the new year with a new human heart. Now that I have my real heart, it's just getting back to a normal life, step by step. He's looking at college courses and must take pills to fight rejection, but to Jordan, this is small stuff. I always go back to just thanking God that he gave me the opportunity to 
live without a heart, I guess do the impossible. We're thankful that we can look back and not really remember as much all the trauma and the the uh, pain and suffering that not only Jordan went through, but we went through as a family. But God's faithfulness in bringing him home to us with a new heart. Few in the world have gone through what he has and lived to tell the story. A heart doesn't make you who you are. You choose who you are and who you're going to be. And you, you decide what's going to stop you and what, what's not going to stop you. Christy Myers, 13, Health Check.